AC3 family, happy December to you. This is your weekly update. I need your help. Okay. <laughs> so coming up next Sunday, December the 10th, it is the second annual Christmas banquet here for the C3 students. And if you helped out last year, if you attended, you know it was such a great night. It's a semi-formal event where we dress up really nice. We go upstairs, sing Christmas songs together, and then we go downstairs. We have an amazing meal and our gingerbread house making contest. And it's such a fun night. But in order for all that to happen, we need your help. So if you would like to sign up, to make a turkey, make some ham, make some sides, your world famous pie, or whatever you want to bring, we need your help to bring some food for that night. So see me after service or text me, my number will be on the screen, and we just so appreciate all the help that you're going to provide to make this great event happen. Thank you so much. Each year around Christmas time, the schedule gets a little crazy, and we want to let you know well in advance what Christmas Sunday is going to look like this year. It's Christmas Eve. That's the Sunday before Christmas this year, and we will have two identical services at 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. Those will be family-style services. Again, identical, 9 a.m., 6 p.m. You and your family can pick one of those to come to. We don't expect you to come to both of them. You can if you'd like to, but did I mention they are identical services for your entire family at either 9 a.m. or 6 p.m. on December the 24th. And speaking of Sundays in December, December the 31st is also a Sunday, and that's New Year's Eve. We're going to have one service on December the 31st as well, a family-focused service at the nine o'clock hour on Sunday morning. Nothing on Sunday evening for New Year's Eve, but there will be one family service at 9 a.m. on December the 31st. We hope we'll see you at both of those wonderful services together as we celebrate what God's done over the course of this last year and holiday season as families here at C3. Hey, Samaritan Christmas is in full swing. If you have been intending to grab a tag off of the Christmas tree out in the lobby and participate by purchasing gifts that are listed on that tag for somebody in our community who needs a gift and needs the cheer of Jesus this Christmas season, don't forget to grab a tag. If you've already grabbed a few tags, grab a few more and continue to give generously. Those are due by December the 10th in the lobby in the baskets. Thanks so much. Samaritan Christmas Packing Day is right around the corner. If you've been a part of that in the past, you know what an incredible day that is. It is December the 12th this year, and we hope that you will take part in this opportunity to be the hands and feet of Jesus in this community. If you've got any questions, contact the office or find Karen Hartz, and she'll answer any question that you might have about that special day. Thanks in advance for being a part of it. Christmas in Converse is right around the corner. This is the last day to get signed up to help out with the live nativity over at Rachel's Taste of Indiana coming up on December the 7th. You can sign up in your life group rooms and you can sign up for a 30 minute window sometime during that three hour time slot. We hope you will come and help tell the story of the birth of our Lord and Savior in our community. If you weren't able to be in second service the Sunday before Thanksgiving, you may have missed out on a really incredible moment. Uh, the Carico family came forward as a family, gave their lives to Christ together, and we celebrated four baptisms on that Sunday morning. You should be seeing it up on the screen here. If you've not had an opportunity to find the Caracos, tell them welcome to the family, give them a big hug, and just let them know how excited you are for their walk with Jesus, make sure you take the opportunity to do that. God is up to big things here at Converse, and we celebrate the way he's working. That's all for now. Please prepare your hearts to worship our Lord and Savior.